juncture uh, this is my post about the movies I enjoyed the most in 2009 uh, again these are the movies uh, I enjoyed the most and not the movies which I thought of were the best because that list would look totally different so just keep this in mind uh, let's just don't lose time and we'll start with number 10 here we have Angels and Demons well I just finished the book three days before I went to the movie and it's well I like the movie a lot the movie is, is really good I like the characters I like the dialogues the story itself is amazing and it's, it's a lot of tension and a, a very good pace and the movie is the movie's really good I like it I enjoyed it so on my personal top 10 it's number 10 and well let's go on with district 9 which is on rank number 9 and there's no pun intended here I can, I can uh, tell you a lot about this movie I mean it's produced by Peter Jackson of course this is great news but the story was weak it was really weak this this movie um, the whole setting it has such a, a great potential but they didn't they didn't make anything out of it the story is just weak I didn't like the story at all I like the CGI I like the action sequences I had a lot of fun with the movie but still the story bothered me um, let's have a look at number eight on eight we have Bruno and I have to say, Sasha Baron Cohen, you are the man. I mean, wow. I had a lot of laughs with this movie. And, well, you gave him a typical American name. OJ. Great, you are great. Sasha Baron Cohen has, has a really crazy mind. And these movies make you laugh a lot just watch them I like Bruno he's a funny character um, if you look objectively to this to, uh, on this movie it's a bad movie yes but well still had a lot of fun with it I enjoyed it okay let's go on on number seven we have up um, I think up is the second best movie of 2009 and Disney and Pixar proved again that they are that they are the best storytelling and the best animation studio there is. DreamWorks can't make it up on the on this level where Pixar is. So Up is really great and I enjoyed it a lot. And it has a deserved rank um, number seven on my personal enjoying list of 2009. So let's go on and have a look at number six where we have 2012 um, Roland what the fuck did you do uh, I, I enjoyed this movie really much and well Roland Emmerich ruined the movie uh, for me with his with, with, with the dialogues they're so they're so badly placed I <laughs> can't tell I hated the dialogues I mean there are characters on screen who are trying to save their fucking asses from dying and then you place a funny dialogue in this scene man that kills the whole atmosphere this is so so bad the dialogues are so bad they're killing all the atmosphere and I hated this I really hated this I, I was sitting there in in the cinema and on screen these characters are running and screaming and there's a joke and all the people around me are laughing and I'm thinking uh, is this really true I mean Roland listen this may have worked with um, Independence Day and it worked great there because uh, the story is, is, is very fictional very very well aliens attacking the world we have seen this so many times and this is why the fun stuff worked with Independence Day but 2012 I mean this is this is a, a it, it could be a realistic uh, topic and you know you, you can't place dialogues there 
I hated this. It's really... This was shit. But still, I enjoyed the movie a lot. The CGI was great and all that, all the other stuff was great. John Cusack was great and um, I really, I really liked the movie. Okay, let's go on with number five. Terminator Salvation. Um, <coughs> sorry. First, when I heard that Mac G is going to direct, I thought, um, what the fuck? The guy from Charlie's Angels. The can't be true. This this can't be true. But, but, he made a great movie. I liked it. I liked it a lot. The action sequence was the action sequences was they were amazing. Um, Sam Worthington was great. He 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 did a great T seven hundred. Um. John Connor was played by Christian Bale. Uh, if he wouldn't have done his his um, Batman voice, this this character would have gotten a really a lot a lot of depth and and a lot of emotion too. But I felt like um, I was watching uh, this Batman character in Terminator and. This this uh, it didn't work quite well. This this is the only thing I didn't like about the movie. All of the other stuff was great. It was really great. The look was amazing. Um, the dialogues were great. The action was the action was awesome. The action was really awesome. It it really made it up to to a, a good Terminator movie. So um, I don't have a lot of time. Let's let's just go on. Uh, on number four, I have uh, the Hangover. Well, uh, what can I tell you about the Hangover? I really like the movie. The characters are good. The story is good. Uh, the dogs are great. The actors are great. The whole movie is is just a lot of fun and makes you laugh at such uh, so many times. You laugh at this movie so many times. I I couldn't, um, well, it's the best comedy movie of 2009 and it definitely deserved this rank on number four. Number three, there is a movie by uh, Quentin Tarantino and I, I'm sure you know which one I mean, it's Inglorious Bastards. Brad Pitt was awesome in this movie he did such a great job the character is really good this, the, the dialogues especially the one in the beginning wow Tarantino you are you're great you're awesome please don't stop making movies I enjoyed this movie so much I had a lot of time a lot of fun a lot of a lot, a lot of fun and a great time with this movie you see, it, it makes me uh, speechless. This movie is well. It's it's on my number. It's it's on my number three, and uh, I don't know what to tell you more about this movie. So let's just move on with number two, where I have Transformers: The Revenge of the Fallen. Well, maybe it's because I'm a Transformers fan. I really enjoyed this movie. Well, and I, if the the CGI. I'm a visual effects fan, and uh, maybe this is why the movie is on my number two. Uh, Michael Bay, great action uh, director. You did a great job. Just awesome. Um, and on my number one. I'm not going to talk about this movie, just look at the poster and I say goodbye. This, this is Alex from Movie Juncture, see you next time and this is my number one and if you watch my review about it you know why.